some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I found a rather interesting Sovtard video today that uh, comes to us courtesy of Chase the Truth. Go ahead and uh, go to their channel later on and give them a like, comment, share, and subscribe and everything like that. Uh, thank you for posting this video because it has a rather bleak end for this particular Sovtard. So at any rate, we find ourselves in Harris County, Texas, where we find a sovereign citizen who just uh, had to take it to the ultimate conclusion and, well, ends up meeting his ancestors as a result of his actions. Hello. Sheriff's Officer, you even stopped. Your tags are expired. You got a, a brake line out, too. Okay. Do you know where your brake line out is? It's on the passenger side. Okay. I don't need your insurance. I got it on the computer. Okay. I'm just, I just I like the video for it. All stop. What's your name again? Yeah, right there. It's all recorded, but body cam's better. Okay, that's fine. You have a driver's license? That's fine. Give me a I've already identified myself and told you why you've been stopped. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Well, here you go, Phil. My identification. What is this? My ID. Could you step back for a second? Wait, wait, wait. Could what is back? This is not your driver's license. It's what my, is this? Could you, it's my identification. Could you step back for a second, please? Now, it's never shown in the video what kind of identification that this Sovtard ended up giving the uh, police officer. But I know a lot of Morse Sovtards tend to have their Morse identification card, which they believe is more than uh, enough to present to the officers, even though it is not a valid driver's license at all. But the Moors tend to believe that, and I wonder if this guy was actually a Moor to begin with, because they're more likely to go with this extreme behavior than the average Sovtard. No, you already opened your door. It's I'm okay. not stepping back. So let, let me tell you this, okay? You can go to jail for your registration and your stoplight being out. Give me your driver's license so I can write you a warning and let you go. You have supervisor? You have supervisor come up. No. I want to speak to your And here we see the uh, automatic referral to the Sovtard script. Even though the officer was about to let him off the hook if he simply showed his driver's license. No, he just wanted to see the manager. That way he could get through that part of the Sovtard script and hopefully get away with something. Even though... Uh, according to Texas law, you're supposed to present your valid ID, your valid driver's license to the officer at the traffic stop. But of course, you know these soft tards. They're going to take it pretty far, except this one takes it much, much further. That's not how it works. You have your driver's license. You have a two bucks from my Do you have a driver's license? This is not your identification. I need your supervisor to please. No. Do you have your identification? I already told you why you're being stopped. I told you I was going to write you a warning. All you have to do is show me your ID, and we're on our way. And knowing what we know now, that this soft tart ends up meeting his ancestors like I did before, was it really worth it to this uh, idiot to take it as far as he did for a simple uh, identification issue, which is not a violation of the Fourth Amendment? Was it really worth it in the end for this guy? I'm sure if this guy was still uh, breathing, he would uh, s probably say it wasn't worth it. How about that? How easy is that? I told you you're getting a warning. Let me see your driver's license so I can write you a warning and leave. Sir, if you would read that, you would understand. That's all I'm asking. Just read that. If you, if you, you need to read that, you can go ahead and buy your pen. Well, hold on, hold on. You still got to identify yourself so I can write you a, a... Oh, you're a sovereign citizen. Oh, here we go. I am not a sovereign citizen. If it walks like a sovereign citizen, talks like a sovereign citizen, then it's most likely a sovereign citizen. But then again, uh... I'm sure that he wanted to separate himself from the term sovereign citizen, considering that the FBI has declared that kind of thing a terrorist group to begin with. And considering the escalation that we've been seeing over the past few years, it's quite understandable the reason why. And this case will be a, just another rationale to the reasoning why they are declared a terrorist group. 
Don't, 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 don't do that. Okay. You can give me a supervisor, please. You know you're gonna. Or you, or you can go ahead and uh, continue on what you're doing about your day, sir. I need your name and need birth your identity so I can write a warning. Now they try to negotiate with the softard for well over an hour, but they end up discovering that there are warrants out for this guy's arrest in other areas of the state, and things soon get way out of control with this idiot. Many, many minutes later. Call Central and see, what we're still verifying the warrant, hold on. He's got Class C's verified already. Hey, are you letting him go, or are you taking him? No, we're taking him. So it doesn't matter, Okay, right? yeah. He's still going. He's still got the, he's, he's still right. You still got enough to arrest yes. him, he's still going. We got plenty. Okay. Let's go. Fuck okay. LT. Who's on the passenger side? I am. All right, look. Let me talk to him, let me talk to him. Hold on. Y'all want, want another shield? Same time, same time. We no, we don't need one. Can we go all together? Yeah, it's fine. In a matter of moments, this soft art is about to make a decision that will see to it that he meets his ancestors and ends up in a situation that could have been prevented to begin with had he been honest and forthright. But, well, you know how these soft tards are. This one, though, took it to its ultimate conclusion. Right, hang on, let me talk to him, let me talk to him. Hey, Patrick. This is the last chance to come out, Patrick. You've got a felony warrant for your arrest, a bunch of other warrants. Oh, there you go. Sorry, it's on my sister, so you come up to tally. Air school monitor. Air school monitor for deep water flooding from Cuffman's parking lot. They just built the warrant for invading, catching, Malau, and uh, advisor plus three. Nothing. We're on shooting, we're going shooting one, we're making a new turn back to 1960. Face, that's the Hey, he did have spike, no rear tire for five. There you go. Crash out, crash out. Oh, here we go. We're going again. Let's go, 60, let's go. Hey, what's up? Coming up to Red Oak. Let's go. Too much fill room. Like that was a uh, pretty new bar. Back right tires, uh, spike. They didn't get the left one. We We're doing about 47 miles per hour. Coming up the Ella Boulevard. There, 47, approaching out. Come up there, the intersection, keep riding up from him. Yeah, man, he's still safe. He's got a fist. He looked at his back rear of all his tires, he came out and ran through all. Oh, go oh, now, go now, go now. Watch out, watch out, watch out. And it is at this moment when this Sovtard's existence comes to a close in this world. He had some poor decision-making skills that led to this unfortunate conclusion, and whatever Sovtard guru led him down this path is ultimately one of the ones responsible for all this to begin with. The flaw of these Sovtard's logic is that the law doesn't apply to them, the law doesn't exist, and yet it does exist, and yet... They just choose to ignore it, and it is understandable that they do to begin with, because this guy 
was already a criminal, according to what they had already found on him. They had, he had warrants out for his arrest. So this guy just didn't really want to face any justice for his actions whatsoever. Yeah, typical soft hard, trying to get away with anything that they can and screw the consequences. Now, if you really want to watch the whole video unedited, I will leave a link in the description box below so you can go take a look at it in its full entirety. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?